This is an update video that shows you how to get Touch OSC working on TriCaster, TC1, and IP series systems. So uh, I'm just going to show you through uh, on my system here. So we're going to start by exiting into Windows, just as we would um, previously. I've already downloaded the Touch OSC software here. So you're just going to install this just like you would uh, normally. And um, when you hit done, again, it might ask you if you need to reboot. I've already installed it once before, so it's not asking me that. But if it does ask you to reboot, don't reboot immediately. Just say no. And in this case, we need to start up TouchOSC in a slightly different manner uh, than what the other video had shown. So to do that, what you're going to do is go to your start menu. You're going to type the word task to open up Windows Task Scheduler. Uh, in Windows Task Scheduler, we're going to set up a task so that every time uh, the user logs in, uh, touch OSC uh, is started. Now this is not hard to do, just, just follow along and I'll show you how to set it up here. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just create a folder in which to put my task. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it so that if later you want to remove this for whatever reason, it's easy to find. So um, open up the task scheduler library, select it with the mouse, the left mouse button, then right click on it and choose new folder. And I'm going to call this touch OSC. And this is where I'm going to put my new task in here and then select touch osc with the left mouse button and then with the right mouse button click in this empty area here and create a uh, choose the option called create ba basic task uh, in this window that opens up give the task a name we're going to call mine touch osc hit next choose when i log on as your startup option here hit next choose start a program hit next and then for the program script you want to hit browse and then you're going to navigate to uh, this PC, to the C drive, to Program Files x86, to uh, Touch OSC Bridge, and then you want to select the Touch OSC Bridge application and hit Open, and that will put that information in here, and then hit Next, and then this gives you kind of a final set of settings in here, and hit Finish. And at this point, you'll have a new entry created in here so that every time this computer boots, it will automatically start up Touch OSC uh, in the background. And you can now close this window and you can now restart your system. And at this point, you should be ready to uh, continue using Touch OSC as you normally would on other systems. Uh, let me know. Thank you.